Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. And what we are doing today is something that little Adam, think of little boy, eight, nine, 10 year old Adam. Uh, if I knew that I was doing this today and spending time today with who I'm spending time with, I would have absolutely lost my mind. Little Adam would have freaked out at what I'm getting to do today because today Auburn and I are out here in Big Lake, Alaska at Happy Trails Kennels. Now Happy Trails is the kennel of Martin Boozer. Martin is one of the most iconic I did rod mushers of all time. He's won the Iditarod multiple times. He is like, when you grow up in Alaska, your heroes are people who win the Iditarod. Some places your heroes are NFL players or basketball players or hockey players or baseball players. In Alaska, your heroes are people who mush the Iditarod. And Martin is one of the most iconic of all times. I'm so excited for Auburn and I to be out here today checking out his kennels and hanging out. Sherry's actually at work today, so she is not joining us. The tour happens every day here at 2 p.m., and I've never been out here before. And I've gotta say, even just driving in, the operation looks amazing. Let me show you around a little bit. First of all, I just wanna say, like Martin is over here just, you know, shoveling gravel. Like I did a rod icon, still working around the kennels. Look at this, so fun. The flowers are beautiful. I love the birch tree wood design. You can see they got some antlers over here. He's got his dog truck right there. And then the dog lot down over there, which we're gonna check out a little bit later. But let's head inside. You guys, I am giddy. I am so happy about today. When you first walk into kind of their main building here at Happy Trails, they have this board on the right hand side that talks about Martin's work on the Disney film Togo. Look at how cool that is. But when you first walk in, the thing that definitely got me, this bear, just like <laughs> right there looking at you on the left, as soon as you walk in, this is really, really nice. See, they got some couches over here to sit on. They've got a sled. They've got some of the, the gear you would wear. You can see that I did a rod bib. There is a map of Alaska here with the two different Iditarod trails. This is interesting. So you can see it starts here in Anchorage, ends in Nome. One year they do this route. The next year they do this route. So it switches each year. Some years they'll do the Northern route, some years the Southern route. I'm really excited for this tour. And as somebody who grew up on dog lots here in Alaska, this feels very, very nostalgic. Right over here on the wall, they have an Anchorage Daily News story about when Martin was welcomed into the Iditarod Hall of Fame. It's pretty awesome. I've seen a lot of cool sports trophies in my day, but the Kuskokwim 300 is another dog race here in Alaska, and that trophy may be one of the coolest I've ever seen. A carved walrus tusk from the 1994 Kuskokwim 300. That's so cool. And along all of the walls here, they just have different photos, different news stories, newspaper articles of Martin, the races he's been in. Done some research, so you, you probably knew that you were gonna show up at a sled dog kennel, at a working sled dog kennel. What you're gonna need is the people that have actually run the Adira, dogs that have run the Adira, equipment, unlike this sled. This is a 1960 sled. What's cool about this sled is actually, I know the guy that built it. Our good friend Fred Fairbanks built that sled in the, in, the, in the 60s. Next stop, we are heading into the theater to watch a documentary. Movie's over, heading outside. The dogs, very excited to start running. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Martin has all of his trophies here. Look at this. First place, I did our trophies. Now we're heading back to the dog yard. He said on the right hand side we have the friendly puppies, the friendly dogs. On the left hand side are the overly friendly dogs. You guys, I am absolutely in heaven. These are the sweetest dogs. Oh my gosh. You could not be cuter. Hi. 
Hello, oh, you want more pets? Say, hey, you're not done loving me yet. Say, you're not done loving me yet. <laughs> you are so sweet. So they have over 40 dogs here at Happy Trails Kennels. Quite the operation. Oh, sorry, I was vlogging and not paying attention to you, and I got a paw to the belly. I will give you all of the pets and love that you need. I think Auburn could not be happier over there. <laughs> Also, I think this one could not be happier as well. Because when I stop trying to pet you, you're like, hey. You see every dog has their name on the outside of their little house. So this is Granger. Hi, Granger. Look at you. And they have little water bowls over there as well. They're all so happy, my goodness. They're so well behaved. And one of the things that they talked about was how, you guys, there are 40 dogs here. And you hear how quiet it is? Like, these dogs are just so happy. They were only loud when they were getting hooked up to run because that's like what they want to do. Like, that's their excitement. <laughs> I, I feel Granger chewing on the back of my shirt. <laughs> Let's see this pup right here. This is Pumpkin. Hi, Pumpkin. Oh, hello. All right, so we are starting our journey down to another part of the kennel. Viola, the dog that I've been spending the most time with, who is so darn sweet, has finished that Diderot five times, you guys. How about that? Bye, Viola. Oh, geez. Oh, sorry, I gotta go. I gotta go. I know, you can't come to Anchorage with me. I wish you could, you're so sweet. Also, how cute is this? Oh my gosh. We just got down here to their amphitheater. They got a little fire going. And you can see we're gonna grab a seat right over here. And it's really nice because they have restrooms over here. They got some bottles of water. Just hang out with the dogs, read books, play card games. And Arabica was my tent mate. She'd come into my tent often. One night at three in the morning, she decided it'd be a good idea to get a hold of my harmonica and thought she was a musician. Oh. Oh. Every dog gets a harness. We have about 15 plus different styles of harness, depending on the style of dog. Um, so this is a traditional X back on the back right here. It's pretty, uh, pretty standard. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> um, they all gain their power from this. This is called a tub line. I must have two sets of booties per dog with me at all times. So two mandatory items. This was really neat because he showed us the kind of sleds they have. You can see it's carbon fiber. Talked about the things that he would bring with you along the trail. Shipping food out there. And of course, the star of the show, who's coming with us apparently. <laughs> Happy Trails also operates a bed and breakfast right there out of that building. You can see the dog lot up there at the top of the hill. The presentation amphitheater was right over here. And so now we are heading back to well, honestly, the part probably most excited about. Because now, we're gonna go play with puppies. We are back here at the main Happy Trails building. Look at this. So these puppies were born on Friday the 13th. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Let's get in here and see the little puppy face just turned away from me. Camera shy? Oh my gosh. It's okay. Well, I'm officially in heaven. Look at this puppy. Oh, oh look, best friends. Oh, my gosh. I don't think life gets any better than this. Auburn has a puppy. I have a puppy. Also, there's like a giant bear head right there. I'm sitting on the bear pelt. Cuddling puppies. Welcome to Alaska. Well, all the puppies are back in basket. That's like the cutest thing maybe I've ever seen in my life. Look at that one. Before we leave, I want to show you one more thing they pointed out. Because uh, there's a lot of trophies in here, right? There's the I Did Raw Championship trophy. But maybe the most impressive and important things in here are these glass trophies because these are the humanitarian award trophies and Martin's won more humanitarian awards than any other I did rod musher and I just think that speaks to so much about this operation here so much about who Martin is as a person and the care that he gives these dogs and that was so evident as we walked around the dog lot today here at happy trails this was one of the best alaska experiences that i i have had this is a must do 
like this has moved up to the, if you're visiting Alaska, I think you need to come do something like this. Uh, dog mushing is our official state sport. It's such a big part of not just the current Alaska, but also the history of our state. And I think coming to a place like this, getting to hear the stories, getting to see the dogs, just gives you an appreciation for the sport and the history behind it. Uh, plus, you get to cuddle puppies, you guys. And what is better than getting to cuddle puppies? This was amazing. Just, you know, the price, it was, I think, $45, $49 a person, and it ended up being over two hours long, which I thought was amazing. Got to walk through the lot, uh, got to watch a documentary, got to talk to Martin a whole bunch. This is actually really fun. When my family first moved to Alaska, uh, my family owned the Cash Creek Lodge. And the Cash Creek Lodge, we used to have a dog race called the Cash Creek Classic. And so I asked Martin, I was like, hey Martin, do you ever remember the Cash Creek Classic? And he's like, yeah, I raced that. I used to run that. And so it was super fun to hear that Martin ran uh, a race that was at my family's lodge. So I love this. You guys, I'm so happy. Such a good day, such a cool experience. I'm so glad we did this. So friends, I love you. Thanks for, ha. <sighs> Thanks for coming along on all of our adventures. I know sometimes they're random things like this, like cuddling puppies and seeing dog lots. Sometimes they're travel, sometimes they're just real life stuff. And you guys join us for all of it. So we love you and we'll see you on the next Lug Life video.